Hi children, welcome all of you to our uh, next new video of our unit 1, Humor. And it is uh, the first video of the third segment which comes under reading C, that is Little Bobby. Children, in the first two segments, the very first one, we have enjoyed the humor of the homeopath being encountered with the snake. And in the second one, in the poem, you came to know how beautifully the conversation went on between the duck and the kangaroo. Really very amusing, no? Yes. Now, this is the last segment comes under reading as I told you. And now, a cute little boy is involved here. How this boy creates humor? A very, very short and small story, children. But really we'll enjoy. See, these type of things generally happens in our households. Probably you might have done when you are young. Or you might have seen in your houses uh, boys like uh, Bobby doing these type of things. See, generally you know, when we are in the small age, of course you are all in the small age only, no? Imagine when your birthday is fast approaching. Naturally you have your own ideas. Hey, what to celebrate, how to celebrate, what gift I can expect from my parents, isn't it? All these things you will have, all these ideas will be going around in your mind. So naturally we expect a nice gift from our parents. When we small children mean they keep on nagging. Mama, I want this. Daddy, please you purchase this for me for my birthday is coming. No, like that will do. Isn't it? This small story, Little Bobby, written by Richard Rao, our own English, Indian English writer. See, more details are not given about her. But it is a very humorous story. Particularly the climax is very, very, very... We can't imagine such type of wonderful climax. As I told you in the beginning of the unit only children, humorous plays, humorous stories or humorous write-ups generally, we should not go with the logic. Every time we can't see the logic man, we have to enjoy. Isn't it? So, in this story also, very simple story. I think we can finish within two or three videos. Okay? In this video, first I'll give you the gist. Then in the couple of videos, one or two probably. Then we can finish it off. Okay. So children, the story is very simple as I told you. Little Bobby is a sort of a troublemaker. You know, we is called a troublemaker. As I already told you, keep on nagging. Mommy, I want that. Mama, daddy, I want that. Like that. So his birthday is fast approaching. And mother was very busy. She she was preparing dinner at home in the kitchen. So this boy, for a long time, he was thinking to ask some peculiar gift. Some special gift he wanted from his parents. So all of you know, when you want something, whom do you approach generally? Boys means they'll approach mother. Girls means they'll approach? What girls? Tell me. Huh? Undoubtedly father. Agreed or not? Yeah. See, slowly the story is related to you also, no? Yeah. Girls means towards father. And boys means towards mother. And he will put an application. So that the, then, then either mother or father, they both will discuss. And finally, it may or may not be done. That is different matter. So little Bobby, he at first went to the mother. Mother was preparing dinner, no? Then he started. Mommy, mommy, please, mommy, I want bike for this uh, birthday. My birthday is coming. No, please, mama, I want a bike, a beautiful bike I want. Okay, color and all, next we'll discuss, don't worry. Uh, but he wants a bike. You see that fellow, how much small, and he wanted a bike. Then mother looked at him. How was her looks? What, what is your age and what you're asking? Generally, parents, they know, no. They know what you want. 
in what age, what is to be given to them, I think they are the best judges, they know. So mother also just looked at him. She knew already this fellow, he was a troublemaker at school and equally at home. So instead of simply saying, eh, go, re, go and play, don't uh, honestly nag at me, no bike, nothing. That is in our days. But now not like that, no, smart parents are smart. That too, mothers are also, yeah. So she said, okay, Nana, so you want a bike, no? So you uh, one thing, you do one thing. How you deserve a bike, it is dependent on you. Mama, I don't understand what you are telling. No, wait, wait, man, try to understand. So you said you wanted a bike, no? So first of all, you should tell me, are you deserving to have a bike? Obvious that, Mama, how can I know that whether I am deserving or not? Yes, good boy. That's very good boy, my little Bobby. You do one thing. Uh, before I start arranging the dinner, what you have to do now, my little Bobby? Go to your room and start writing a letter. Letter, letter. What letter, Mama? What letter? Wait, wait, wait. You start writing letter to God. God, I visit Mama. No, no, write, write. Baby, listen to me. You write a letter to God. And in that, what you have to write? No, you think about last year. From last year till today, you start writing whether you are deserving to get a bike for this birthday or not. But Bobby, one thing, Ray, you have to think from last birthday to this birthday and you think and write letter whether this birthday you are deserving to get a bike or not you explain to god not to me or papa okay will you do okay mama that's a wonderful idea what sir you're whistling that whistle do you know for whom he whistled he whistled for his pet dog jesse once he whistled, that's all. The dog followed him. You can see in the picture how beautiful the dog is also. And happily started writing. Oh God! Okay, I was a very good boy. He started. But he was thinking what to write. Not like our formal letters or informal letters. You need not worry, children. Okay, this is a letter to God. When we write letter to somebody, to our parents, our friends, our siblings, okay, that is different. When we write a letter to the principal, sir, see, generally we'll get one kind of, a, oh, principal, sir, we'll get one shiver. Before that, class teacher also, oh my God, class teacher letter, what we have to write? Generally, we'll think. So, first class teacher, principal, sir, or imagine you think you're writing a letter to DU, district education officer, oh my God, you think... Imagine you are writing a letter to district collector. See how, how the, the designation is going up. From the district collector to imagine you are writing a letter to the CM. Oh my God, what sir? My letter being read by the CM or governor or the prime minister or the first citizen of India. Who? The president. Naturally you see. But one thing, Nana, these are all human relations. But now, to the invisible you have to write. To the invisible, but present everywhere, even in our room. Now from where you are listening to my this video or watching the video, he is there. He or she. So why should, why should we differentiate? We don't know the supreme power. He or she also, we don't know. The almighty, we say. The omnipotent. Omnipotent means... All powerful, the omnipresent means who is present everywhere, everywhere present, and finally the omniscient, who knows everything in this world, every language, every grammar, what not, everything. So writing a letter to God, the to a small boy, how interesting, no? So what is the two address? You may ask, sir. God two address? What we can write, sir? Okay, write a letter to your friend. You can write letter to 9th A to 9th B or 9th B to 9th A. Okay, no problem. But God address? Yeah. Write a letter to God. Okay, to God. Okay. Sir, you only said, no, sir, God is present everywhere. No, so why address? Sebash, that's wonderful. That is the point. 
so little bobby is also smart as smart as how you are all okay so he started thinking and he started writing so what did he write and how was the letter and what happened next total five letters he wrote to god children okay sir five letters sir only one letter no no total five what happened what are those letters and why should he write five letters mother asked him to write only one letter no why the hell he wrote five letters now that is the humor in the story sir 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 continue sir no problem why sir another video why sir in one video only huh? okay there our class means 45 minutes here what okay this is also one kind of humor of course you may think this is hammer hammer na na my class is hammer let it be who knows sometimes our classes are also not humorous i am inventing new word hammerous so let us not make it hammerous i am going to conclude catch me up in the next video children all of you what happened next with little bobby okay small assignment you shared please do okay bye